How about a follow-up video on the possibility of using the Mevo Start live streaming camera to stream Friday night football games in Texas on My Favorite Things. This is a follow-up video from one that we did last week as we set up and kind of guessed at what it would be like to stream a Friday night football game with a Mevo camera and a Pivo pod unit to allow for the panning uh, at a football game. This weekend we managed to stream our local high school's football game using a Verizon MiFi hotspot, a Pivo pod and included remote, and a Mevo Start live streaming camera. We were successful, sort of. We started the game out by using a Mevo Plus with its boost attachment and were unable to keep a reliable wireless connection between the MiFi hotspot, the iPad that was controlling everything, and the Mevo Plus. So at halftime, we switched out from the Mevo Plus to the Mevo Start and immediately saw better results. Now, I've been back and forth with Mevo on this particular Plus model, and, and they have agreed to let me send it in and then send me a replacement. So it could be an issue just with that particular camera. And what we found out of the Start was that it was uh, better in, in all fronts. It was better handling the, the light tower that's across the the field there, uh, trying to catch a, a game at night where you have a, a black sky with a, a very bright football field light in your face. Uh, and then, of course, all of the, the different colors with the, the, the two teams that are playing. Um, there's a lot of color, a lot of brightness and contrast that the, the camera itself, the, the sensor, has to handle. So switching to the start actually yielded better results. The plus was having some artifacts in the in, in the light that it would pick up, and it was it was freezing ever so often, so that we couldn't see exactly where we were pointed. The plus was also struggling to keep a, a streamable bit rate. We we were clocking in at 1.9 to 2.8 megabits per second upload speed all the time that we had the Plus connected. And as soon as we started with the Mevo Start, we jumped to 3.4 and we remained at 3.4 megabits per second for the entirety of, the, of halftime and the second half. So we saw some immediately result, immediate results mounting the Mevo Start on top of the Pivo Pod and controlling it to pan back and forth up and down the football field with its remote. In the clip you see here, you'll notice the camera operator zooms out. That is a, a full zoom out so that what we have there side to side is all the start will show us, but it kind of lets you know where we're mounted, uh, just on the stand side of the track, and then you'll see that uh, it is uh, then go into the next clip that shows the panning of the Pivo pod as that kickoff happened and the players run down the field. The final clip that I want to include from the football game is just a couple of plays. Uh, you notice the light in the background. The start handles it pretty well. Uh, this is going to be at a, a medium zoom. It's somewhere in between all the way zoomed out and all the way zoomed in. And you can tell uh, what the player numbers are, you can tell uh, where the ball is going, you can tell all the things that someone who is unable in this era of COVID, uh, who can't be at a football game, what they would see if they were watching it at home. We streamed at 720p and we streamed it to YouTube so that anyone with a smart TV or with YouTube in their dish package, direct TV package, would be able to watch it on their television instead of trying to watch it with a mobile device. The reason for the announcement of success with an asterisk is because of my camera placement. You'll see those previous clips show that the camera placement is catching quite a bit of the activity along the sideline, along where the players are standing. Even the cheerleaders sometimes were, were right there in full view. And I'm, I'm not trying to get that. It's nice to have it. It's nice to hear it. But what I really want to focus in on is the, is the, the action on the field. And so when I try this again this week, I'll go ahead and both try it on Thursday night for our JV game, and then if the if the uh, cell 
cellular reception in our in our venue is good enough, we're going to be on the road this week, then I'll try it Friday night for the varsity game as well. I will mount this higher up off the field. I'll try to get a more downward shot toward the field uh, to maybe get below the lights so that those are not at the top of the screen and get above the sideline action so that those are below the screen and get a truer picture of what's just happening on the field. Whether your team plays day games or night games, you'll have to deal with whatever light you have. So I would encourage you to use your adjustment settings. Go in and choose, tweak, adjust all those brightness contrasts, uh, all the different pieces that you have inside the settings of your Mevo app. Those will be beneficial to you and you'll get a, a better picture. You'll get a clearer shot. You'll get a, a, a more usable end product that your, your family and your folks that are back home get to watch if you choose or have the opportunity to stream a football game. Overall, I'm excited about the possibility of going forward throughout this season and being able to stream each week. It looks like we're going to be able to have something that our folks at home will appreciate and enjoy. I've received a lot of feedback from this particular game as parents and grandparents and community members have been appreciative of the opportunity to watch a football game when they couldn't be in in-person attendance. Maybe the same will work for you. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel and you appreciate the things that we bring to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I'll know to continue to produce content for you.